In order for you to create a live 2D model with lots of movement, you need to separate all the different parts of the model into their own layers. In this video, I will show you how to cut all the parts of your model to work well in live 2D. So let's get started. Here you can see all the different layers I ended up after I was fully done with cutting and repainting my model, so be prepared that you will end up with lots and lots of layers. The amount of layers will increase the more complicated your model is or just how many moving parts you want, so be prepared that it will probably end up getting very confusing, so I recommend keeping a good track of all your layers, please name them so you know what each layer is. And also I recommend using folders to add different sections of your model into so it is easier to find what you're looking for if you need to. I recommend starting from one part of the model. For example, you can start with the short pieces of hair and then move from there. It can get very overwhelming, but just work on it and you'll get there. My process of cutting the model is just a whole lot of lasso tool and then cutting and pasting the part of the model into the into a new layer. Try to be as precise as you can with the lasso tool, it will save you some extra time, but don't worry about it too much because there's going to be a lot of repainting later, so even if you get the edges a little bit rough, it doesn't really matter, you can fix all those later, but if you want to save some uh, time for future you, please be as precise as you can. Once you've pasted the part of the model you just cut onto its own layer, it's just repainting time. While I repaint, I usually just hide all the other parts of the model, but it's also very important to keep checking how it looks together with everything else, so occasionally it's good to just display all the other parts too and just see that nothing looks terribly out of place. The most important thing when repainting is to be mindful that even if you don't see certain parts, for example the very back of the hair that's behind the head normally, that still needs to be drawn just in case, because when you turn those parts of the hair might become visible. To make this process a little bit easier, if there are some parts that you know for a fact are similar on both right and left side, you can just repaint one of them and then just copy and mirror that part of the model onto its own separate layer. For example, I did that with the ears, some parts of the hair, and also with the legs that you cannot really see here. Everything needs to have a right and a left side on their own layers as well. The rule of thumb with separating the parts is that everything needs its own layer if you plan to move it separately. For example, with the eyes, you need to have the eyelashes and the whites of the eye, the iris, lower lashes, and the eye reflections, the light reflections, if you want to move those separately. All of those need to be on their own layers. This can be a quite a tedious process, especially if you have already spent a long time drawing your model because you essentially kind of have to repaint most of it here, but this can be still a very effective method if you feel like it's too complicated to draw all the parts already on their own layers. If you think you would like to actually draw everything already on their own layers, I gave some tips on that and some good practices to try out on my video of drawing VTuber models, so you can check that out if you want. So those are really the tips I have for cutting and then repainting your model for a live 2D. I find the best way really is to just try it out and I hope with this uh, video showing you how to do it, you will have a little bit easier time because I know it can feel quite overwhelming if you have no idea where to start. I would really appreciate if you like this video and tell me if you have any plans on working on your own live 2D model, I would love to hear about it. And also if you have any requests for other drawing or live 2D related tutorials, I would love to try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye!